Hi friends, in this tutorial I'll show you how to get to data frame in second database. Right now we have um, two databases that is being created and right now we are mainly connect connected to um, our first database which is this but we want to get data out from this table so let me quickly insert like one or two records into this um, let's see Try two is try two. Let's say try two one. Email one at gmail dot com. So I'll copy this and I'll say email two. Um, try two two. So I'll quickly create this two record. But so now we need to get these two record. I mean, we just want to generate it somewhere. We want to generate it. Let's say we we'll quickly create a, a dummy, a quick uh, testing action on our contact, on our contact. So let's go to backend controller. So we need to create an action. Call it test. So now we should have an empty page. Let's say test. We call it test. So we have empty. So let's just echo, echo hello to ensure we have our data code. <coughs> yes, we have our data code. So now we want to fetch record out from. Let's say we want to record from uh, our contacts form just to see how it works they will not know how to fetch record from the second database so I will just say find all um, let's say uh, all so let's say we have this as model equal <coughs> So, um, for each, I just want to quickly display the record there as a um, record. I want to echo this email. So I say uh, refresh. So this uh, these are the email. Let me compartment with break. Also remember you can add this HTML into your HTTP. We all know that. We all know that. So these are the four records I have in my contacts form. Contacts form. So now I want to display records from this table. Just the email only, like and like I was testing with um, the contact form. How do I do that? So if I change this to test, if I change this to test, which has automatically been added there, test. If I change this to test and say I want to echo the email, the email in the record, it tells me that the test table does not exist. It says g advance uh, g2 advance the test does not it does, uh, doesn't exist meaning test table does not exist in g advance but we are not looking for the test table in g advance we are looking for it in our g2 second so how do we do that so we need to go to our model for our test model i'll click on this automatically takes me to the model or uh, i can manually come down to this place to access my test so I need to write like few lines of code in order to connect to the second database. So which includes um, so guess db. Uh, 
Tem lá a semana dessa Disney. Mas essa Disney me So, so one more thing I need to add is to set my database. So I will set it like this. I need to make it static. So I need to pass this in into it. I need to pass this in. Self database is equal uh, database. So I should be able to get my record now. Says you two second. Oh, sorry. Um, the property we'll be getting we needs to be db second, not g2 second. It has to be db second, not the table name, not the database name, but what we call our database, which is this, is what we need to use. So, db second. So now we have our record displayed there. I hope um, this you find you don't find an issue getting this done on how to connect to multiple database and knowing how to get the content from other models that are not directly connected to your your main database. So 